Alrighty, so the first layer of true oil is on. I tried to do a pretty wet coat, uh, refilling. I actually ended up using a little, cut out a section of a dish towel that we weren't using anymore, and used that, and actually worked pretty well. But I just ended up, uh, you know, I just put cover it over to the top of the bottle and uh, tip it over and get a little bit on the towel and then wipe it onto the body. And I would do that pretty frequently, just trying to get a lot of liquid out onto the body itself. Um, it still looks wet, it still feels kind of sticky, uh, but I just finished and so uh, I think yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good. It definitely makes the wood pop. I've heard that a lot and I can definitely see that now, which is cool. I like that. Um, it already looks pretty sweet and actually I also can already see kind of places where I didn't necessarily sand good enough or little dings or scratches uh, they definitely pop too so I can understand why people have said that you need to make sure that you are very thorough in your sanding because it definitely makes a difference but I'm, I'm happy with it I'm really happy it was really easy it probably only took me maybe 20 minutes maybe a half hour to do the whole thing and having it on that other piece of wood made it really easy I would just grab that whenever I needed to move anything it was really really simple really easy to do and uh, I think it looks great already I'm really excited to only keep going and uh, yeah so tomorrow will be the kind of the slurry grain filler thing uh, but for now we're just gonna let it dry uh, so yeah feeling like it went pretty well so far so good okay so the next update it's been a couple of days now I think I'm maybe like about eight coats in of true oil um, yeah, it's coming along really well. I actually just put one on, which is why it is looks really, really glossy. Like you can see the reflections of the trees in the background really well, which is cool. Um, yeah, it's going really well. I've I've just been doing about every three hours or so. I've been putting on a new coat, um, just using my fingers, and yeah, it's been going really, really well. Just try to make sure that I'm not getting any spots where it really bunches up or anything like that but just want to make sure I'm putting it on really evenly um, you know because and every once in a while you have to sand out there's like a little bit of a imperfection that you need to sand out um, and I use some steel wool for that but it actually has not needed a lot of sanding uh, after I let it dry overnight I did another pass with the 400 grit just to kind of uh, really try to smooth it out that worked really well and uh, yeah I'm really excited with how it's moving forward it looks really good uh, it's definitely gotten much more of a golden hue to it much more of a brown gold type of a color which is sweet it looks amazing it actually is starting to feel a little bit like a guitar finish um, and the way that it has glossed up has been really cool as well so I'm excited about it um, not a lot of light under there, but yeah, it's been really easy. I love this Troy Oil stuff. Working with it. it is so easy and simple. It's uh, just a piece of cake. Um, so I really, really am enjoying this process so far. Probably going to keep going almost, you know, until I kind of get sick of it or tired of it. But I got a lot of Troy Oil, and I got plenty of time before I think the net comes in. It might be another week. But yeah, I'm really getting excited about this. I think Troy was a really cool direction. I could definitely see myself using this further in the future because uh, it definitely feels really cool. Um, and you definitely still feel like you're, you've got a piece of wood on your hands, which I think is cool. Uh, I want to try to flip it over here. See the front. As you can see, we've got a really sophisticated drying method process here. Really, really complex, but <laughs> yeah, it's going really well. Very glossy. Um, usually there's a little bit of, I don't actually know what to call it, little almost graininess. Um, I want to see if I can get a real close up here. It's almost like little spots where it dries, almost a little bit higher or lower than the other, and that's pretty much the only thing that you need to steal wool out. Um, yeah, it's coming along really nicely. Really happy with it so far. It's been really easy. Um, pretty much all you need is your hands and a bottle of true oil. So I would definitely re recommend it so far from what I've got. And actually, like, I could probably stop now 
if I wanted to and leave it kind of in like a you know if I once because once you put once you do a once over with the steel wool it kind of dulls it all down a little bit because right now I just put a coat on so it's still wet um, but once you kind of dull it down it gets kind of turns into almost like a matte finish but because I, I think that if you want to go for the real high gloss and you got to put upwards of 20 or 30 or 40 coats um, and who knows maybe I'll stick that out but you know I could call it call it quits right now and have a really sweet looking guitar but it's been awesome I think it looks really cool definitely makes it a better finish I think than the spray spray bottles I used for my last guitar um, but yeah I'm really really digging it so far uh, thanks for all the suggestions and help from you guys you guys have been great and uh, keep it coming so yeah I'm gonna sign off here I'll see you soon